Man, it's just been so dark today. It's 9.30 a.m. It's just been storming all week. So I had this idea a couple of days ago where I really wanted to make a cat pillow. <laughs> so recently, I've just been really into making pillows and right now I've just been putting all of my cute pillows that I made on my bed. And I think that just, it just makes my bed look really cute. So I want to make more. And the cat thing that I was thinking of, it's actually inspired by a cat pillow that I used to have in my teenage years. It was like a cat printed on a linen um, fabric. That was like a black and white cat. And it was from Urban Outfitters. And one day I put it in the wash and it blew up. <laughs> I was so sad. It was just like the cat was there and the middle, like the belly of the cat was just like blown open with all the, the fibers coming out. His name was Diego. But yeah, the inspiration is from Diego the cat. I'm thinking of a full on cat body shape. Um, so it would be like a little bit of a longer pillow, not like a round one. And I think something like that would be nice to kind of like hug. And that's the kind of pillow that I want to make this time. I will be designing the pillow first. I'm going to draw it out and then I'm going to try to find the materials for it and start making it. And I think I'm going to try to make a pattern for this one because I don't think it'll be too complicated for me to make. And I think that it would look cute for a lot of people in their homes. So let's get to it. Okay, the water fountain is going crazy behind me, but I am using Procreate to draw this out and let's see where I end up. So using Procreate for this was probably a little bit of overkill because you'll see how simple the drawing is in three, two, one. So this is what I have so far. Um, I know it looks pretty plain, but I do feel like I want to keep it a little more plain because it's a pillow and it's not a plushie. So um, I'm going to say that I'm not thinking of doing like in a round and just working your way up. I'm thinking more of making one panel and then a next panel and then stitching them all together on the sides. And then that's a little tail that I'm thinking, which will, this one will be worked in the round and then worked downwards and then attached probably like on one of the sides, like around here. And I th I'm thinking that'll be the pillow. All right, so now I'm looking at my yarn stash and I am gravitating towards these blossom cakes. I think, I think these ones, these ones. I have three of these and then I have three of these colors. Um, I do like the bl blossom cakes for these pillows because I did use, um, I think these sort of yarn for the star one that I made. And I actually like the, the, the flower pillow that I made way better than that one just because of how it feels, like how soft it feels. And that one is from made from Blossom Cakes. So I might make the cat pillow in this color. This is, I took off the thing for this one, so let's see. Let's see the color name for this. This is called Cabana. So yeah, I think I'll work with this one for the cat pillow. All right, so I first just tried making two rows of this just to see how I like it. And I think I like, I'm doing half double crochet and I think I like that. 
Yeah, not many holes for any of the, like, the stuffing to, you know, fall out of or squeeze out of. So not many holes for this one. So, yeah, these are two rows. Mm. If I make it this big here and this big here, that'd be one one, then it'll be this big here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> if you can just imagine the thing. <laughs> It doesn't look that dark because my camera is pretty good in low light, but right now my power went out. All of the lights went out. My Wi-Fi went out. Yeah, it's been storming. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't look too dark in on the camera, but yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Good on you, camera. You're doing great. <laughs> And as soon as I said that, the power came back on. So hopefully not bad. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that was scary. I'm alone at home and out of nowhere, just like a man's voice. Oof, scary. At least it wasn't that long. It was like maybe a minute, <laughs> maybe a minute of power outage, but phew, that was scary. I couldn't even see what I was writing because it was so dark, but we're good. We, we're good un unless it happens again. All right, I've been at it for a little bit now, maybe one or two hours now. And now it kind of looks like a little table mat. <laughs> I mean, this would be pretty good if if I made it a little bit bigger. Pretty good as a as a table mat. So I do realize that I got this far on this thing right now, but I I could end up unraveling the whole thing. <laughs> and when you're testing things out, you know that's just something you need to expect to happen. So I guess. I won't be too disappointed if that happens to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to see what it looks like. And um, for me, I do have some perfectionist tendencies. Um, if I see a mistake from really, really, really like long time ago, I usually unravel the whole thing. <laughs> so I think after I see what it looks like if I don't like it that much if I'm not really loving it I I could just unravel the whole thing and just start over from scratch um, yeah the bad thing about me is that I'm really bad at just imagining things in my mind so like I have to see it I don't know if everyone else is like that, but you know, using half double crochet, like, will this work? Will it still look good? I don't know. I, I don't know un until I see it, <laughs> until I see it. And then I have to make a decision. Like, does this look good to me? Do I like it? So yeah, so far, I'm not sure yet. So far with this one. I'm not completely sure yet. I'm not completely convinced that this is the way I want to go. Um, because to me right now, it's looking a lot like a table mat. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe a table mat is cute, but would a, would a table, mat turn, table mat turn into a cat? I don't know. And like sit on your bed? I don't know, will it be cute? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at with this right now. If I have to unravel the whole thing, of course, I'll be very like, dang it, I wasted like a couple of hours in my day, but <laughs> I am willing to accept. This is the life of a crocheter. Ah. <laughs> All right. 
And guess what? After I just said that, <laughs> I thought I found a mistake from like all the way back here. But <sighs> turns out since this is the beginning, the increase like counts on this side and that side are different because this is where it begins. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you guys know about my panic because phew, I was about to be like, oh no, I just said that. Now I have to unravel the whole thing. But I don't, it's it's all right. I didn't, it's not a mistake. <laughs> all right, so this is what I am ending up with right now. So I tried a couple of different things for the ears. I tried just going in a circle and just going in lines up and decreasing on the sides and stuff. But I think this way is the cleanest way to do it. So yeah, it's a very fat cat. I, I just realized I forgot the whiskers. I'm gonna unravel probably up to this point, try to add it, see what it looks like, and I'll have to see. All right, so there are the whiskers. I think they make it much, much cuter. And to me, this is kind of looking like Pusheen. <laughs> I, I like it a lot. I think, um, I'm not sure, exactly sure how it's gonna look as a cushion though, cause these are so skinny. Um, but once I have the other side, I'm thinking I might make these a little bit thicker so that they really do like come out of the body as whiskers. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make it work. I do like it like this though. It's getting cute. Yeah, it's storming pretty bad. This is why the lights went out. Of course. Of course he's sitting on the cat pillow thing. <laughs> Look at this guy. Cutie. So now I'm working on the second panel of the cat pillow and the thing I'm liking so far about this pattern is that like once you get into like the rhythm of it, it's pretty mindless. Like you can do it without thinking too much and it's it's got a rhythm, you know, it feels nice as you're doing it. Especially if you're using like a nice and smooth yarn, um, which for me, Blossom Cakes is pretty good. I, I like using Blossom Cakes. But after I'm done with this panel, I will have to make the tail and just like, Put everything together but one thing right now is that I don't have any stuffing I don't have any more fiber fill um, actually even before this I've been only using <laughs> like an old couch cushion thing like couch pillow that I pretty much just threw out the cover of and I was just using the inside of it to like stuff all my plushies and stuff but I ran out of that <laughs> so I was even thinking about using some of my other um, couch pillows that I have that I don't like as the stuffing for this one or something but I think I might just leave them alone <laughs> for for this one. And then, so if I wanna stuff this guy, I need to go buy more polyfill. So uh, I think tomorrow I might go out to do that. Cause I don't think it's supposed to be storming tomorrow because today, today it's pretty bad. Like the lights went out 
and came back on twice today and then the wind has been so bad there's like a whole storm going on um, so I think tomorrow it'll be better so then yeah pretty much tomorrow I'll go out buy some stuffing and that's when I'll be able to finish this but tonight I definitely can't finish this because I don't have the filling the filling the stuffing <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, even the wind howling right now, it's it's pretty intense. So it is like 8.45 a.m. right now and I woke up earlier and finished the second panel. So both of these are done. I just need to put them together now. Um, but before I do that, I think I'm going to have to go to the store and buy the stuffing. And this is how much is left from the cake that I was using, which I think is definitely enough for um, stitching this together with an edging i'm thinking like single crochet um but i i'm not sure if it'll be enough for like a tail so we'll have to see it'll be really awesome if it if i could do the whole cushion with just one cake that would be great but yeah since it's early i gotta wash and then go to the store so i have the shower running and we'll get to that today hopefully i can finish this by lunchtime today. That would be amazing. <laughs> Can you believe how sunny it is after yesterday? <laughs> it's still very cloudy, but it's really nice outside. I don't want to try these. <laughs> These two are definitely wish listed. I only bought this today. I almost bought it. I really almost bought like all the paint, paintbrush, <laughs> and a canvas. I think I might want to do it sometime, but but not right now. But I I really do want to get it and try. I've never painted on like a canvas before, I think, so do you really want to try it <laughs> sometime soon? I didn't put on a tail yet, but this is what it looks like on the couch with the other other pillows. It looks like it can be a lot of different things right now. <laughs> Hopefully with a tail it looks more like a like a cat. But these are the whiskers. I I really don't want to put eyes on it because I don't want it to be like so, so completely a cat, like a cat plushie, you know, I want it to be a pillow. So I don't really want to put eyes on it. I think with a tail, it will look a lot more like a cat. So let me get on that. At first I started with like a pointier tail and 
I don't know, I thought maybe it'll look a little too much like a fox more than a cat. So now I'm trying out a rounded tail. So here's my, a bunch of my unraveled yarn. <laughs> Hiding behind the cat. Yeah, trial and error, that's how it works. <laughs> okay, so I have attached the tail. I think I'm happy with the shape of the tail and I don't want it to be too long because then I feel like the cushion will just become uncomfortable. But just looking at this, I don't know. Is it cute? <laughs> I can't tell. Is, is it cute? I'm, I'm just very on the fence about this right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask the fam. <laughs> All right, after asking the family about this, <laughs> my mom took a look at it again and she was like, yeah, it looks like a turtle. <laughs> so, uh, so then my mom was saying that, I mean, I think it needs to either be skinnier, like sideways skinnier or longer to look like a cat, but that's just not, what I was envisioning, you know? What I was envisioning was, actually I drew it. I drew it on a, on a picture of the pillow. So here is what I was envisioning. That's what it's supposed to look like in my mind. And I thought without the details of like a face and like little paws, I thought it would still be there. But I guess it's not, so I think I may add the detailing. I was really hoping to not add eyes and stuff on it because I don't want it to become a plushie. <laughs> but I think adding those kind of detailings that's just like a couple of lines, I think it won't be too bad. So I'm gonna try it out. Um, by the way, I made this whole thing with the tail, all of that, and I still have this much left, which is perfect. I love that because that means you can just buy one ball of uh, blossom cakes and make a whole big cushion out of it, which is great. Love that. But I will try doing the detailing so that I can see what it looks like for myself. Hope it all goes well. So pro tip for anyone like me who just can't see it until you see it, I placed pins everywhere I would sew and embroider and then took a photo of it and then went into my photos, edit, and markup. And then I just drew to connect the dots and adjusted until I liked what I saw. Is it cute now? <laughs> is she cute now? <laughs> this is definitely a loaf of a cat. Um, I think before, I just didn't know what I thought of it. I was like, is it cute? Is it not cute? I'm not sure, but I think now that there are details, this is definitely not a turtle. It's, it's a cat for sure. <laughs> it has the tail and with the details, for sure, this is a cat. And I think it's cute. I think it's very cute. I think um, this might also look nice in a solid color as well. I think the face makes it kind of cute. 
But I'm not very good at the embroider embroidering part of this stuff. So I think the nose I had a little trouble with, but it's like a miffy face, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah. Comment down below, is it cute now? <laughs> Honestly, size-wise, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels really nice. The thing about um, making this pillow with the blossom cakes, the reason why I loved my flower pillow more than the, the star pillow that I made is because of the yarn that I used. It was so soft and so squishy. And I think the blue one I used the the red heart yarn and yeah I don't like those I never like those <laughs> but the blossom cakes yeah it definitely feels really nice and the the thing that I remember about Diego the cat is that it had this cat head shape where I would always put my chin on and I just hug it and put my chin on it like this and it was just so perfect for that and this this is really reminding me of Diego and size wise, huggable, huggability wise, chin uh chin support ability wise. <laughs> Kinda perfect. I'm I'm starting to like this guy a little more and probably more and more and I'll probably really love him later on oh i mean i'm already loving the squish <laughs> it feels so nice that's pretty much what i wanted to do for this video design this pillow and make it and see if i should make a pattern out of it because i already started um i'm pretty much done with the pattern of like the body um i just have to write down the the tail and probably add pictures for the embroidering part of it but that's all i wanted to do for this video today so this was like an impromptu prompt <laughs> of a video that I, I just recorded out of nowhere so thank you guys for watching a video that i'm just indulging my ideas <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time in a different video. Bye!